going, Ian. It's rolling, man. What are you doing? Oh, are you getting the Drain. pulse? Yeah, you see my little snorkel up there? Yeah. Just barely above water. our first moment of truth, Chris. Oh god, you gotta hope it fits through the bridge? <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> like a live mode, I, didn't, I wasn't actually sure. I didn't think it was gonna go for a bit there. Because if it didn't fit, I think you were pretty fucked. Yeah, I would have had to winch it back out of there. Well, you would have had to let it go and then figure out a way around the bridge to go get it, too. And then hope your winch is heavy duty enough for it. Ian, you're shredding your, uh... Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> the amount surface shredded my dick. Shredded your... No. Chuck, look at my stream. And what I'm tugging behind me. Whoa! Whoa! Cut it! Ass boy. It's a big trailer, boy. It's a big bitch. I mean, I see that shit in real life all the time. Yeah, I feel like I should have one of those oversized load signs on the top of my truck. Oh, for real. You should have one of those, and you should have, like, three fucking lead trucks. All of us should have flashing cage lights on the top, for sure. You're breaking some rule. We know that much. <laughs> My brother as well. Good. Did he wish you a happy birthday? Indeed. Yeah, indeed. That is his job as your sibling in these times. He told me a very entertaining story about. He was real frustrated. He had to buy some PPE for his wife as a nurse, and they just, you know, they were having to make their own shit. So he. Uh, he got on his burner email and started trying to figure out the email of the the CEO of the hospital because American hospitals have CEOs and uh, he tried like 20 different emails and sent it like three times until the dude finally responded <laughs> he was like I got you motherfucker
Oh, Ian, look where I'm at now. What'd you do? It's just, it's a, it's a big trailer and there's mud here. Everything was going so well, Ian. What did you do? Nothing. I just, I can't get it out of the, the mud. Drawer. I'm not far from there. Go help me, Chuck. I'm, I'm bogging right now. Hold on, let me get this thing to the trailer park real quick. Catch it in and just floor it. Yeah. Oh, why'd you approach from that side? Because it's the easiest way to get here. Ian, you dumb as hell, boy. I don't think so. Thanks for the money. Chris, save that drowned heavy truck. That's the before. next step. You've done it before. You know how. Alright, I'm gonna bog hard to Ian. Yo! Got it. I managed to get my truck on more dry land to get up here. Drag the trailer through the more muddy section. Sure there is. It's just very far. I'm surprised that little bridge can hold that. Shit for someone with such a small truck. Is my truck small? <laughs> <laughs> 
make it or are you out of gas? I just ran out of gas. I'm here. Don't worry. <laughs> You're so close, Ian. <laughs> Truck literally just pulled up. I'm, I'm literally here. <laughs> to keep it in diff lock and all wheel for so long dragging this thing and killed all my gas. <laughs> gas motor. Better stop my engine so I still have some gas and don't hurt my fucking fuel pump. See ya! <laughs> he just disappeared. That was all I had. <laughs> That's all you had left. <laughs> yep, 59. That's all I needed. I had one liter of fuel left when you showed up, Chuck. Chris, you look like you got that shit. You had pain, like... Compared to the first time? No. That's true. Yeah, that took you guys a while. And it took two cars. I was looking at our, uh... The, the screen caps I took of that, Ian? Yeah. It was nighttime when we were out there. Like, I was sitting on the ridge watching you go out to it. And then it was evening time when we left. <laughs> it took us literally a whole day. Oh my god. Nice one. Ah! 70 Promoted. 7,450 bucks, boys. Hell yeah. Brother. Set. It's good. I'm taking this uh, heavy truck down to the farm now. What other? It's not my name, but <laughs> I know it's a joke. A Jake, my friend. Jake. A jocular reference. I helped. That was huge. Critical. It was critical. I was out. I was literally out of gas. It's the second time Chuck said to do that. I'm going left. Oh god. <laughs> Where are you going? Don't worry about it. Going to the warehouse. I was guessing that before. No one knows again. No one knows. Uh. Goddamn little step tires. What did you just say? My little step up, uh, right there. Got stuck on the foam pole. Oh. <laughs> Your little 
sideboard or whatever they call it. Dude, I demolished a car door on one of those one time. In real life? Yeah. Oh. I was in Bayfield for the, uh... For what? Cheap days? Uh, for 4th of July. Oh, for fucking 4th of July in Bayfield is fucking crying. People already went out and about for Easter and Mother's Day. Like I know, I'm really disgusted with humanity we, about it. We we done be fucked. I mean, we're already <clears> passing. <throat> anyway, yeah. Literally more people than died we had on this this week, and it took ten years to do that. Like, what? When it gets to a hundred thousand, how do you rationalize that? You don't, dude. That's such a big number; it becomes unfathomable for most human beings to understand that. It's already probably beyond most people's ability to fathom and like actually interpolate into a concrete evidence. You know? I mean, shit. Luckily, it. I'm the kind of person that gets mad about it, not sad, or else I'd just be crying all the time. Yeah, I'm. I'm disgusted with you. Luckily, instead, I just get to be angry. I'm the same way as you, Chuck. I'm just so disgusted. That's the one that gets me. People are like, well, this this kills X amount of people. Why don't we care about that? This kills this many we people. Do. We just... <laughs> no, well, the one I keep hearing is like, well, 40,000 people die in car crashes, and it's like, well... Imagine if 80,000 people died in a month from drunk drivers. Yeah, you think we might consider doing something with alcohol in this world? Because that's what it's... it's don't call it a car accident, call it drunk driving. Because yeah. that's what it is. We don't give a fuck if you kill yourself. We we care If you that kill you, others, yeah. That you're yeah, putting that yourself you hit. and somebody else at risk. That's what we Oh, call. look, you, you slammed into a van full of fucking people from the senior center and you killed... 20 fucking 70 year olds. Look, nice one, dude. And you killed 13 children. Yeah, great job. That's basically what they're doing. But... That's what it is. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, that's. Yeah, I'm with you. I just. I'm so angry and disgusted. I just can't handle it sometimes. I saw that we. that La Plata County had its first officially recorded COVID death. Dude, I'm just mad that it's... The only thing that can happen is it's gonna get worse for us. Yeah. Hmm. What are you hearing? You know what, you know what you I'm, I'm so close, I don't even care. What, what did you do? <laughs> you're so close, you're just gonna say fuck it and drag it on its side. <laughs> <laughs> How did you fuck that up, buddy? I don't know. But he's, he's, just, he's just gonna say fuck it and drag it through the mud, so the driver's just gonna have a pile of shit to deal with when he gets in there. <laughs> Here's your bullshit, I broke it. Here's those, you asked me to find the scientists, and I found their empty shit. <laughs> <laughs> have you actually read some of those missions? Because that's actually one of them. They, the guy asked you to go find some scientists that went missing and you end up just dragging back the empty car. <laughs> Jesus, that's and you get paid for it. How mad would you be if you were this farmer seeing this coming your way? <laughs> I mean, I'd be like, at least he got it out. I guess. <laughs> I got paid 3k for it, so I don't know. He must have been pretty happy. <laughs> You get bricks, Chuck. Um, I'm gonna get. I was gonna go to Riverside Repair, so I need to service repair parts. Riverside Repair. It's a task. Oh, okay. I'll grab the wooden planks since I'm already over here grabbing a trailer. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, but what I was saying about Fourth of July is, uh, it was Fourth of July in Bayfield. Yes. And uh, I was on a little road just uh, east, east of uh, like Mill Street. Okay, just to play one of the weird back roads in Bayfield. Well, you like you know right where Mill Street is, where like the the main like four corner uh, the the four way stop is that just has the flashing light. Yeah. Instead of taking a right and going on Mill Street, imagine you took a left and went to the end of that neighborhood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what you're uh, I went down there and parked my car because I knew some people who lived there. Um, but I, uh, so I went down there. It was after everything was over and uh, got in my car and was going down the road. And uh, some kids jumped out from behind uh, some parked cars. So you, like, dodged them instinctively? Yeah, so I just kind of, I didn't like swerve, but like I, I moved it so like in case they kept running, they weren't going to hit get hit. But there was a an oil rig truck there that had his uh his truck just sitting there. And the side uh, down. His side step just destroyed uh, my two passenger doors. Oh. It just cut into it and just cut through it like fucking butter. Peeled all the fucking sheet metal back and you can see all the inner workings and it was just like, oh. It's, it's crazy. It's it was, crazy how easy it is to break up or, like, just wreck a car. Super Josh on the fucking train. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he was sitting in the passenger seat with his arm out the window. Oh, Jesus. Damn, Chris, your truck looks pretty badass. I'm a big fan of the color scheme I got. I like it, too. I might have to go through and look at some of them. Schemes for my new trucks. I've been liking the olive drab, just like army inspired colors. Mm -hmm. So what do we want to what do we want to do over at the dam for the next mission? So I know what to grab from here. I was gonna start working on the essentials um, after okay. this one. So I'll get the bricks. Sounds good. And I'll get the whatever we need, the planks of some kind. Is there anything else I can get for any other mission? I have one more trailer slot. Uh, service parts we need for the name for sure. Well, I, I only have one slot left, so. But the service parts are so close to the stuff in the dam, you know what I mean? They're right there. I'm just waiting for reliable COVID testing so I can see my friends again. That also, man. I want to <laughs> see you guys. I want to play D&D in person again. Yeah. I miss you. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure a, a lot of you could that have been actually quarantined. I couldn't go, though. But Tony wouldn't be able to go. Yeah, I probably can. I mean, it out of work. Mm. Yeah, they're good. She's been really... Well, no, she could because I'm exposed to her. Yeah. Talking about people that could or could go out of quarantine, like play the Indian person. So, like, Chuck, Tony, me, you, we've all been constantly kind of being exposed to stuff, so we shouldn't be about. But, like, I'm sure, like, Sam and Sarah and Selena are probably all good at this point. I'm I know back. Jamie's probably good at this point. She already had it. Have they figured out if you can get it again? They haven't fully confirmed or not. It seems like you can, but I haven't really. I don't trust anything. I wait to it's hear from that... three or four sources. I, I would expect it more likely to be in the lower range, 
somewhere from six months to two years. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. And if you have an asymptomatic case, your immunity will not nearly be as strong. Yeah. Which I know that that sounds logical, but it's in medical things, it's not always that way. Yeah, and I'd say it's going to be, like, probably, maybe, I don't know about probably, at least five or six years before people in this country are probably majority okay with moving around without masks again, if that ever happens. Ooh, that rock fucked me up. At least I tried to. There's that one rock when you come into the quarry, Chuck. You know which one I'm talking about at the bottom. Mm, that yeah. one's a bastard of a rock. <laughs> As long as you're paying attention, though, you can like, back up and get around it. So, have you guys noticed that if you get next to a piece of, like, actual piece of uh, architecture or physics-based thing that is just kind of balanced and you want your horn to fall? Mm -hmm. Your horn has such a fucking seismic activity in this game, it rocks shit over. Hmm. Horn physics, man, you don't know about that. I guess I've never really fucking pulled on a horn really hard like these guys have. And he goes on it, I mean, he lets it loose. Ian, we all know you pulled your horn like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Dude, one thing about all this uh, mask brand stuff is, uh... <clears throat> how much lower we'll see for other things like the flu and whatnot. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm kind of like looking forward Curious to about. is that people might actually care about hygiene and like transmission. Well, yeah, like if they have a cough finally. or something, they'll actually put a mask on. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like it, people might actually look out for not Ooh. just themselves, but like others. It's now. wild. I've been in at the doctor's office and like sick. And I put, a, I put a mask on because they have them out. And it's like, wear it if you're sick. And people still fucking look at you weird. Not now, but I mean, back then they did. Yeah, nowadays people will just be like, oh, okay, he's sick. Thank you for putting the mask on. You know? Yeah. But I was just I was just in for like a physical or something, and I was also kind of sick. And so I, I, you know, put a mask on because I was kind of coughing a little bit. And holy shit, the, like, the moms in that doctor's office were mean mugging me. I hope that's gone away now. I, I expect it should have. Like, huh. Yeah. Do you think that's that going like, to go away? I mean, moms like be mugging ago. people? No. But, like, for wearing a mask, yes. I always I mean, get you know, mugs because I have a fucking gnarly, weird beard and long red hair. Dude, I don't know. People smile at me a lot. It's weird. I get that, too. But I also smile at people a lot because I'm I want to be your friend. I put the extended winch on this thing and now I'm kind of feeling like I might have wasted cash. I never use it. I need, a, I need a truck with a shorter frame for pulling semi-trailers. Uh, the White Western starts pretty decent. I thought about grabbing that. I was gonna wait until I found the. I was gonna wait until I found the upgrades for it too. Oh, that also makes sense. Right? Because it does it does have engageable diff in all the drive. Is this you, Chris? Yeah, that's me. Do you need anything? Uh, off the top of my head, I don't have anything to put it on either. Well, I just meant like, do you need gas or tug job? I mean, I could use some gas, but I'm just sitting here for right now. You're just Turn sitting there the Fine. I mean, it uses gas otherwise. I've had a couple What's of cars kill themselves. Hands? I don't trust nobody unless they got some melanin.
Warning, no trespassing. Okay, let me just pull into your front yard and drop off this lumber that you requested. You wouldn't be trespassing. Hold on, you have permission to be there. I've ignored, not trespassing signs necessarily, but like, you know, no trucks or road weight limit or, you know. Yeah. It's usually just for making the block. Needs your stuff first, Chuck. I'm on the way. Which way you coming? I'll get out of your way. You coming or going? Okay, you're gonna come that way probably, so I'll just pull off. Uh, so. So I was talking to John Boy last night. Oh shit. And uh he's got a job up there. Job up where? Oh shit. Uh, in Greeley. Oh. In Greelsburg. Working as a working at a, a Pearson exam facility. <sighs> My god, he's become the very thing he swore to destroy. <laughs> He was telling me it's kind of a weird job though, because it's like I think it's supposed to be full time, but he's gonna get like most of his hours in in like two days. Oh, that's weird. There, because because it's a testing facility, so he just sits there all day. Weird. There's a trailer at this gas station that has, like, I think two vehicle spare parts on it. Yeah. Scout flatbed. We need... We'll need that for a mission. I've noticed that, this, like, the trailers stashed around tend to have stuff that you can use for missions yeah. in the area. Instead of having to like, purchase it. You'll even get little pop-ups for that. Yeah. Like, on the map and while you're driving. So like, oh, here's some stuff you need for what you're tracking. Go left, Chuck, left! I know. Left! You're on the left! I know how to drive a truck, just trust me on this one. <laughs> Your other left! Turn late. Why do you have two lefts? That's how I was born. He ain't ever been right. Oh, blue. You know, I like both of us just sitting on the map watching Chuck move. <laughs> Is that what you're doing, too? Yeah, I mean, mine's, mine's focused got, on the I've got his fight. stream pulled up on one screen, Should and on go? the other screen, I'm just watching his little blow frizz fucking version drive up the road. <laughs> I'm here if he needs me, you know. Do you like me doing it in sketchy view in the night? I love the first person view. It actually feels like four. I'm actually just gonna, I'm just gonna plow through these trees. I always just run over little trees. I'm waiting to see Chuck's little thing just flip over onto its side. Mm -hmm. This is the section where something bad will happen if something bad happens. I don't think anything Not bad will happen. I think he's got it. Ian, did you notice how, like, detailed the little low-res map is to the real map? Yeah. Like, in-game? There's, like, little trees and everything. Like, if he runs over a little tree, the little tree goes away. Nice. Shit, I got a text message. Who's it from? I bet it's my sister. Or Zach. It could be Zach. He just ran over a tree. It's pretty classic. <laughs>
I hit another tree. Just for you. There's, they're, they're all gone in that section you just drove through. There's like four <laughs> trees that are missing now. so mad if someone was like, hey, you got a delivery, and I had to come down some shit like this. Yeah. <laughs> I will like, leave nah. your shit at the top of the hill. Like, nah, fam, you coming up here to the highway. Where's your mailbox? That's where I'm leaving this shit. Oh, I gotta go in behind it. What? Yeah, there's like a, go the drop-off spots behind it. Dumb as hell, boy. Watch out. Right. He ain't got no fence no more. What if what if you could uh you could go about it like this though, Chuck? Like <laughs> you have to drive down that sketchy ass hill, but they didn't care if you destroyed their property while oh, you were down. That's, that's dumped there. That's <laughs> Oh god, I've never seen someone so defeated so quick. Or something so small. I tried to winch it out and it didn't work. Oh well. You're about to see a display. No, you're gonna see a vulgar display of skill. Get it, Chuck. I'd already be fucked. Look out, Ian. I'm back in I'm back in this bitch in since apparently we can't pull through. I wanna hit his boat. But I'm probably gonna hit his boat. Hit his boat. But he's the fisherman. What do they do with his, his livelihood now? He doesn't need a boat, he's a fisherman. He needs fish. I'll fight you. This hill is <laughs> fucking me up. I'm not actually getting any movement with my wheels. There we go. I see you didn't hit his boat, you moved his boat. Dude, the frame on this truck is too long. The fucking steer tires are off the ground constantly, and it's frustrating. It is very annoying. Like, wheels turned, to pay star was to open wheels turned, feet. not moving. point where when I start moving, I have control the whole time, instead of sliding at all. They make us do it this way. Hold up, I got a, I got a brilliant idea, Chuck. I'm gonna get on the other side of the house. And I'm just gonna winch your rear end around. Viable. I mean, not real life viable. But <laughs> ain't gonna work. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just, just dump it all right there, Chuck. There's your shit. <laughs> I just want you to know that Spotify is playing. Oh, drop playing it like what? it's hot. Drop it like it's hot right now. <laughs> what if? Hang on. Here, stop winching me. I'm not even touching you. If you want me, I got handbrake on. Oh, 
we'll put these we'll put this thing here. That pack of stuff, I don't know, it's really annoying to die that much. I'm gonna hit a shed. Alright, can you pull my back end into the unload zone? <laughs> Neutral, no break on. Thank you there. Not quite. <laughs> One more. Are you captain the side of the shed still with your back end? It might be. Yeah, you are. I'll go ahead and try to tug you a little further back. Just pull it, yeah, pull it inside. The there we go. There go. That should do it. Yep, there you are. Still not accepting it. You I think the you need to be in the circle. Uh, let's see. Essentials. Yeah. I'm gonna go eat some food and shit with Heather though. So. You're gonna eat some food and then shit with Heather? Yep. <laughs> you can't judge us, that's our thing. <clears throat> that's marriage, Chuck. Mm. Suppose that's a fact. But I will be <laughs> back at some point probably. I'll be around. Word. Later on, boyos. Peace the war.